take a lead graphite pencil and begin to draw the figure as you draw the contours also indicate details such as of the face the folds of the drapery among others start by drawing the contour of the head and as you do that also draw the facial features the eyes nose mouth with the pencil also keep indicating the shadow areas these will provide a ready reference when you begin to apply color now delineate the torso starting with the neck and the shoulders and then the arms while drawing hold the pencil with a light hand and flexibility while drawing so that the strokes vary from long to short depending on what you are drawing the pencil strokes play the role of notations that are a communication for the artist to bring out the form in color using shades and tones as you continue to draw the figure constantly assess the correct proportions for which you need an eye hand coordination that emerges from consistent and constant practice as you draw vary the pressure of the pencil strokes in order that you get darker and lighter lines to indicate areas of shadow and light respectively Now draw the chair on which the model is seated. observe the manner 
in which the pencil is held lightly allowing one to draw sweeping strokes as also small delicate strokes as required After having drawn the figure now you need to start coloring it Today we are using the medium of watercolors for which you need your pens or tubes of color along with a bowl of water and brushes Begin with a flesh tint and color the face ensuring that the areas that have highlights remain white Now with the same tint color the neck hands and feet Next, take up blue color of the turban and fill in the color of the headgear. As you can see, the brush strokes follow the folds visible in the trap of the turban. To lighten the color, take more water upon the brush. now with a darker pigment but in fact the middle tone color the beard while making sure that the lighter or gray areas are left uncolored take the darker shade and make the dark and shadow areas in watercolor painting the classic method is to paint from light to dark with the white areas left unpainted or pass as the medium has the quality of transparency so form can be built up in overlaid washes with a smaller round tip brush begin to make the shadows so that the features begin to get better definition work in the shadows around the nose eyes and lips Keep a steady hand 
and work with care as you define the face and features. As you paint the shadows and the darker tints on the face, not only does the face begin to get better definition, but the expression on the face is also realized. When you choose a model to sit for you, aim for greater variety of ages. As you can notice that with older pupil, the face is a mirror of a life lived and thus expresses more correct. Now with a darker shade begin to brush in the darker tones in the beard A few touches of the brush as you fill in the color serve to bring to life the expression of the face. And the touches of dark color with the contrast of tones give a clearer and sharper definition.
with a small brush continue to mark the shadows around the neck and the upper portion of the figure in the medium of watercolors you need to keep in mind that when working out further details by adding colors you have to make sure that the color applied earlier is not wet so that the colors do not merge of course if the sheet is somewhat damp the edges of the brush strokes will be softer and not too sharply defined take a brush loaded with water and pigment and give a transparent light color wash to the shirt it was in the 19th century in france that artist of the barbizon school make the flesh tint and color the arm and hands also lightly brush in the darker tones on the face now brush in the flesh tint in the feet with a larger brush take blue color and fill the color in the lower half of the figure ensure that the strokes of the brush follow the folds of the drapery that in fact indicate the form underneath and its posture work from light to dark shades according to the color of the area you are making and such and as you build up form through color also brush in the folds shadows and other details as you can see we have proceeded from a light tint of blue to a darker shade more intense hue as you work you can use a brush to make broad strokes by flattening the brush and with the tip of the brush make linear strokes fill in the dark colored background
use free broad strokes and combine these with more careful brush strokes close to the figure. Even as you apply a brush full of pigment, the intensity of the hue can be diluted by using a brush that is loaded with water and little or no pigment. Here you as basically employing the wet on wet technique that softens the effect and allows the strokes and color areas to merge. The background color is not just one monochromatic hue but is composed of reflections of different hues. Now delineate the chair with a light shade. As you can see the dark background has helped to throw the figure into sharper relief. Start to define the folds of a drapery.
with a darker blue also define the shadows and folds on the lower section of the figure Now define the background color around the legs and feet thus giving clearer definition to the form. Give more definition to the chair and the shadows around the figure. As you brush in the shadows, you will also define the details.
in this same manner also work in the shadows and details of hands and arms Thank you.